to the 50 states under the direction of Paul Laval of McDonald's All-American High School Band. Two musicians from each state in the union. by Libby McNeil Company is their first entry in the Rose Parade and it salutes Great Day in a spectacular animated sunburst that salutes Vincent Eumann's famous 1929 melody. 39 conical rays of rose orchid and carnation petals revolve simultaneously to create the radiating patterns of sunlight. This is one of the most difficult animation systems ever presented in the parade and really it's a rousing success. You can almost feel the sun's rays. Silver Lunaria and Vanda Orchids are used to create a realistic shimmer on the undersides of the clouds, brightening the entire scene, saying, um, don't rain on my parade. The base section of the float is covered with patterns of roses and orchids that correspond with the color changes in the revolving rays above. Here's the largest American flag ever produced in live flowers. We all agree with Montebello, you're a grand old flag. Miss Montebello and her court are riding here on this float. There she is. This young lady is Laurie Dole. She is six feet three inches tall. And for those of you who are interested in this sort of thing, she's 40, 27, 40. There's a nice shot of the flag. The governors of every state in the Union have donated one white blossom which they sent from their respective capitals to be a part of this floral fee. In fact, some of the governors who were here in Pasadena actually went down to the building where the float was assembled to place the flower for their state on the float themselves, which I thought was a nice touch. The eyes of Texas are upon us, I hope, because here are 170 musicians from Houston, Texas. This is the Spring Branch Senior High School Band. Let's listen. see now make up what they call the Bruin Big Brigade. Look at them, they have five and a half miles to go. Another figure that, uh, other than this one, that you might be interested in. It is estimated that the horses, the equipment, and the costumes in this Rose Parade exceed three and a half million dollars. That is a great deal of money. more than you make in the morning on further <laughs> consequences, isn't it? Yeah, I so. Look at the shadows there. We have nothing but beautiful sunshine here. But even if the temperature does get into the 70s, it won't be the warmest January 1st. In uh, 1917, I believe it was, it was 86 degrees during the Rose Parade. I wasn't here. <laughs> Calgary in the province of Alberta, Canada, has a great event of their own, the Calgary Stampede. And in honor of that, what else but a giant, richly tooled western saddle and wagon wheels. You can see the initials on the side there, C-E-S, and that stands for Calgary Exposition Stampede. Covered with bronze and rust chrysanthemums, this saddle is magnificent indeed. Maybe it was meant for the giant wooden 
<laughs> Trojan horse, it's so big. And the chuck wagons, replicas of the type which are used in the races during the Calgary Stampede, seem to be driven right out from under the huge saddle. They're flowered with Hawaiian tea leaves and iceberg chrysanthemums, and they give the great effect of a stampede. Calgary's eighth consecutive entry in the parade, representing the greatest outdoor show on earth here at the greatest floral parade in the world. That's an attractive flower. It sure is. Great detail on it, too. The Minnesota Metro Tourist Council honors the twin cities of Minneapolis, St. Paul, with a floral rendition of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. The late Judy Garland was a native of Minnesota, and a multi-flowered rainbow in her honor sweeps up from the front of the float, clear over and down the back. These people represent the Minneapolis Aquatennial and the St. Paul Winter Carnival. Tens of thousands of people sending theme suggestions for the Rose Parade. A final decision, though, is made by the president of the tournament. And this year's theme, The Joy of Music, is a special treat because so many folks have incorporated songs into their design. And we'll hear and see more. Hard to believe, isn't it? Today, even with the world's greatest variety of foods, almost half of us have diets deficient in some vitamins or minerals because we don't always eat right. We snack more and can't be sure what vitamins we're getting. Well, here's a way to be sure. One a day brand multiple vitamins. One a day gives your family all the vitamins they normally need to take for just pennies a day. One a day, the most trusted, most taken vitamins in the world. Playing with yarn is stupid, but cat owners expect it. <laughs> Part of the image. How about some din din? They also expect you to be finicky. Watch me be finicky. Some nine lives, dear? Uh-oh. Chicken, liver, tuna. Tuna? Wow. Mm, rich red tuna meat. <laughs> mm. Nine lives, the nutritious foods cats really like, even Morris. Dear diary, today I was not finicky. <laughs> Magnificent in bright royal blue outfits, 100 young bandsmen from Plattsmouth, Nebraska. It's the Plattsmouth High School Band. And one of the Tournament of Roses committees have told me that this group had practiced marching two and a half miles every day. But he didn't tell me how many days they've done it, so we may have some very tired kids right down here. They don't sound it, though. brought us a very pretty entry, which is a, a jewel box. The entry is called Only a Rose. It's a very professional looking entry and one that the local citizens of Sierra Madre can be justly proud of. The jewel box. Three o'clock in the morning, the National Exchange Club says there are some people who appreciate the joy of music at that hour, and some who don't. Now, here's a tomcat, and he's just looking about very calmly, and he's strumming his mandolin there on the ash can, you see. And back here, despite the hour, this prim little pussy cat is very responsive. She's turning her head, she raises her eyelids, look at her swish her tail about there. She, she knows good music when she hears it. But in the back, <laughs> the joy of music isn't shared by this guy. He's leaning out the window and he's very unappreciative. He's saying, after all, it is three o'clock in the morning. Unlike some of the floats, the driver has a very good view from this one. Top hat, white tie, and tails making their 22nd appearance, the professional musicians of the Mutual Savings and Loan Toppers Band. Let's listen to them.
catalog of around-the-clock efforts of the medical profession, the American Hospital Association presents Night and Day and their unceasing efforts to heal the sick and wounded. The front circle shows two pictures of a hospital revolving around in a night and day scene, as work inside a hospital never stops. It's decorated in yellow and gold chrysanthemums and white clad petals. And in the middle, a giant clock with hands going round and round of black onion seeds. And the rear circle, tri-vision pictures that change constantly as the boat moves down the parade route. A mother and child, a nurse with a child. And the nurse is caring for the child in the bed there. Doctors, there's the mother and child. All done in flowers. And one final one, there's a doctor's in the surgery room. It's beautiful. Now you can see there, the doctors in surgery. Oh, that's very clever. Celebrating 60 years of human service. The telephone pioneers of America in their first visit to the Rose Parade present a floral interpretation of the song, People. We're moving right in here on a mobile which they have in the center of the float. This is the 60th anniversary symbol of the service organization. It's the world's largest voluntary organization. It was founded to promote continuing friendship and to carry on the ideals and traditions of the industry. Well, the cost of these floats is tremendous, and you, you have to consider, Bob, that the flowers, the engineering, the designer's time, and also the labor. Yes, it's quite impressive, and also it's quite unique. There's nothing quite like the Tournament of Roses Parade in the world, and there's still more to come. Oh, boy. Rough day, dear. Oh, the guys had me in front of those hot lights saying... I know. Great! Please, dear. Well, beats running around the jungle all day. You were Kellogg's Sugar Frosted Flakes cereal, dear? Yeah, something light and sweet before sack time. You really enjoy that secret toasted in frosting. Yeah, and ate important vitamins. Uh, mother called today. Oh? She's coming to visit. Uh, well, stock up on the Kellogg's Sugar Frosted Flakes and make up the cage in the guest room. High C is fun. Good fun. High C is good fun. High C has a delicious fruit taste and vitamin C. High C is good fun. And High C has vitamin C in every delicious flavor. High C is good fun. High C is good fun. <laughs> well, this is the Mayor's Award for the best display of originality in the parade. It's the Cal Poly College float, swamp rhythm. A hip swinging, swinging ear flapping, eye rolling lavender hippo that swings through town to the music of swamp rhythm. It's a really great color for a hippo. Shades of burgundy rose, peach and pink mums. And the source of all the music is a monkey, which you will see when he opens his mouth. And there's a tick bird on his um, behind. The monkey up front is playing a xylophone. Every time the mouth opens, you can see that he's beating on the drums. The bird's in a safe place, far from the hippo's mouth. There's the, there's the monkey playing the teeth. It's got a big round of applause from the audience as it came by. You know, since 1928, all 23 entries from Cal Poly have won awards. And those of you who know the Rose Parade have been waiting for this one. This is the grand prize winner for the most beautiful commercial entry in the parade. The Florists Transworld Delivery Association presents a psychedelic free-form entry depicting the song of astrology Aquarius, a rousing tribute to a glorious age. This has an awful lot on it, all of which we'll show you. Here's the solar system, that's the sun, the nine planets are revolving around the solar system. I'm not sure it's the attraction of the sun that keeps them there. I think the float designer had something to do with it. That's at the rear of the float. Now up here at the center, this is Aquarius, the water bear, holding a vase of pink gladiolus, carnation petals. That was real water being poured there. 
Now watch for your sign. They have all the signs of the Zodiac here. Resplendent and psychedelic colors. That's the three dog the night right there in front. Of the I think Sagittarius age. is right up here. I was watching this show from a boat near a building and I found my own sign. <laughs> Take a good look at this entry because FTD is running a national consumers contest to guess the number of flowers used to decorate the float. Winners will be brought to next year's Rose Parade, all expenses paid. I'll give you a hint. There are a lot of flowers on that float. <laughs> Representing the city of Los Angeles, the high-stepping music of the Alain Leroy Rock High School Saints Marching Band. Oh, they come on strong, don't they? Hundred and forty-four members. Played at the Rams halftime recently. They were in the 1970 Rose Parade, too, I remember. White provide a startling setting for the sun colors of September, and the Queen and the City of Los Angeles combine to form September Song, the City of the Angels' way of welcoming in the new year. The Queen rides beside a bouquet of sycamore leaves, Woburn Abbey and Mustang Roses. Those are cantilevered floral arrangements that you see weigh in excess of 1,000 pounds each. It's really an engineering feat. Many of the entries this year seem to have adapted the free form design. It works very well, as we can see here. Beautiful September song, and this certainly portrays the feel of autumn. It's a 40-foot float. It's the city of Los Angeles' 61st entry. The first one in 1906. Here's Richard Sauco, the famous Tommy Trojan of USC football games. He's riding his 13th parade on Tennessee Walker, a Tennessee Walker named Traveler II. The muscles ripple on those horses. The Joy of Music theme wouldn't really be complete now without the most frequently sung song in the world. Happy birthday to you. Bakery and confectioner work, Confectionary Workers Union says it's sung about 4,000 times a day, and I would believe that. Look at that birthday cake. There are a lot of calories there, June. I guess there are. And here we have the pinwheels, you see. Each pinwheel is individually driven by an electric motor. They're made of pom-poms, gladiola petals, and carnations. There's a nice shot of one. There's six of them up there on the top of the float. Those are party streamers that you see around them. Flames, that's a pinwheel there. Riding in the party are Kim Richards, Trent Lehman, and David Dormus from TV's Nanny and the Professor. That's fun. Yes, it is. <coughs> I think it's very appropriate for them, too. Happy birthday to you. Here's a band from the hometown of our president. It's the Cavalier Elks Youth Band, and of course, from Whittier, California. Now, as you listen to this band, if you're wondering how we hear them so well, we have three shotgun microphones down on the street. They're handheld, and our CBS men are taking them right up there. So let's hear what the band has to do.
French fries and a Coke, hamburger, French fries and a chocolate shake, a cheeseburger, French fries and a strawberry shake, a fish sandwich, French fries and an orange drink. Boy, is this going to cost a lot. If you've never been to McDonald's, you might be surprised to find that you can actually feed a family of four for under four dollars. Sir, your change. You deserve a break today. Thank you. We're back visiting with Mr. Bernie Hillen, president of FTD, Florist's Trans World Delivery. Uh, Bernie, isn't this exciting? It always is, June. And of course, this year's scene was really wide open. Well, let's look again at FTD's brilliant float. Thousands of roses set the stage for FTD's beautiful float entitled Aquarius. A zodiac sign for peace, happiness, and love. Oh, just fabulous. How did you decide on an Aquarius theme? Well, June, we felt the happiness of Aquarius says exactly what FTD floors are really all about. Happiness is something we design into every arrangement, like this forget-me-not bouquet. Its only purpose is to bring happiness. <laughs> Provided, of course, man remembers to send it. <laughs> now, that can be a problem. A problem that Louis Jourdan will help solve, as we're about to see. Uh, gentlemen, uh, would you like to join a women's club? It's a sort of a club, a forget-me-not club. You remember the women on their birthdays, and they remember you. And FTD florists will help you. They will send them beautiful birthday flowers like these. The forget-me-not bouquet. But remember, they get the forget-me-not bouquet only through FTD florists. And you get some very happy birthday girls. Well, Bernie, this is really lovely, but will the arrangement I'm sending look as beautiful? Yes, certainly. FTD florists are the best. They have to be to become members and to remain members because we check periodically to see that their high quality meets our standards. So that you can be sure the quality you see here will be in every arrangement no matter where you send it. That's what FTD is all about, June. Uh -huh. Well, thanks so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure. It's been just great being here, June. Mr. Bernie Hillen, president of FTD, Florists Trans World Delivery. Well, there's the crowd now leaving the site of the 1972 Rose Bowl, a Rose Parade here in Pasadena. These floats they've seen, the average cost has been $16,000, but they've been as expensive as $35,000, and I thought you might be interested in knowing about our judges and how they work. One judge is Hobart Lewis. He is president, editor-in-chief. Well, this Protein 29 hair groom puts back the control that shampooing takes out. You know what? It works. You just put it on your hair while it's wet, then comb. Takes out tangles, makes combing easier. And it grooms not just on top, but way down. So when your hair dries, it's under control. Protein 29 hair groom. You know, this stuff is really different from all those other hairsprays. Once upon a time, a long time ago, two musicians drove down to buy some spark plugs. So being a good mechanic, and feared for my life, I put in Autolite Power Tip spark plugs. You see, Autolite wants its spark plugs to be the very best. So they make their power tip plugs with solid nickel chrome electrodes to make them last and last. Be a long time before I see those two again, because Autolite spark plugs last and last and last and last. As we've said, the parade really does get better every year. You'd think there'd be an absolutely no room for improvement. <laughs> but every year, someone comes up with new ideas and innovations. That's right, and before this parade is over, the thoughts of the tournament are directed toward next year, and now they have 83 tournament parades behind them. <laughs> and all that experience is really vital. This is a terribly complicated event, and there's a lot to think of. Picking the theme, deciding on the entries, supervising the design of the floats, the construction, the publicity, 
And just coordinating such a mammoth array of people, horses, and giant floats. Just the timing alone is difficult. All units should march at two and one half miles an hour, and it is really amazing how close they keep to that pace for the five and a half mile route. It's a labor of love for all those involved, too, right down to the young volunteers who spend the final hours pasting literally petal by petal the millions of flowers that cover the floats. And that's the end of the 83rd Annual Tournament of Roses Parade, the joy of music. 59 magnificent flower-covered floats, 23 of the best bands in the land, and 250 champion horses. For those last units, there's still a march of five and a half miles to go. And a special treat for those who are here is the fact that the floats will remain in Victory Park for two days, giving everyone a chance to see them up close. As always, the memory of today remains with us throughout the year, and we're still awed by the beauty of this spectacular event. For the tens of thousands of people who travel here from all over the country and all over the world, this has been a joyous start of the new year. We want to thank the many people who worked so hard all year long to make such an enduring and successful event. That includes the association members, the float builders, and the volunteers who worked on floats as a community effort. Thank you all very, very much. This is June Lockhart saying Happy New Year to you all. And this is Bob Barker adding the same thing. I hope 72 is the best year ever for you. Bye-bye <laughs> and thank you. See you next. The 83rd Annual Tournament of Roses Parade from Pasadena, California, with June Lockhart and Bob Barker was telecast to Puerto Rico and coast-to-coast -coast in the United States and Canada. It was brought to you by Florists Transworld Delivery and over 12,500 FTD florists serving the United States and Canada. And by Kellogg's, the best to you each morning from Kellogg's. And by the makers of Minute Maid. This is Vern Bennett thanking you for joining us and from all of us to all of you, a most happy new year.